Hello Linda, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Met Gala happened recently and this was the makeup look that really caught my eye. And ever since I saw this makeup look on Sydney, I wanted to create this makeup look and I finally got around to filming it. So without rambling any further, in case if you guys want to know how to create this makeup look, then please continue watching. I'm going to pop a picture on the screen on the makeup look I'm going to be creating, although you guys have seen it in the intro. Anyways, I filled in my eyebrows. I think I'm going to do my base because the eyes are pretty simple and even when you look at her face the face is very simple I mean it does not have a lot of full coverage I'm sure she has beautiful skin to begin with so we're gonna try to replicate it so for my base I'm gonna be using this foundation by K Beauty I feel like it's just gonna give me enough coverage while adding a little bit of glow to my face I'm gonna be applying this with my hands first feel like that way I'll end up getting more coverage. I think it evened out my skin tone nicely. I feel like I need a little bit more coverage so I'm gonna go in with another pump. Literally using less than half a pump. And I'm gonna be using a brush this time. So I'm focusing this mainly on the areas that needs a little bit more coverage. So that is the corner of my mouth and also a little bit on my cheeks because I do have some redness there. For concealer, I'm going to be using a mixture of these two right here. The first one is the e.l.f. one in the shade Light Beige. Blending all of that in using my Pack 219 brush. So in the picture, it looks like she's used a slightly lighter concealer. So I'm going to be using the Matte Full Cover Jumbo Concealer in the shade White Ivory and I'm just going to be applying it only on my under eye to just add a little bit more lightness and a lift to my eyes. To set my under eyes, I'm going to be using this banana powder from my Wet n Wild palette. Using my Nykaa Compact to set my face very lightly. I'm going to be using the same bronzer from my Wet n Wild palette. It's neither too warm nor too neutral. It has the perfect undertone and in the pictures also it looks like she does not have a lot of bronzer going on. For blush, she has sort of like a muted pale pink blush but it also has a little bit of sheen to it. I don't own a blush anything in that color so I'm going to be using this one by K Beauty for Okay, so once I've applied that color, I'm gonna be applying this baked blush by Milano. It's in the shade Sunset Passion. It has a little bit of sheen to it, and this is what's gonna add a little bit of glow to this matte blush. Okay, highlighter, can you guess which one I'm gonna be using? I'm gonna be using this one by Swiss Beauty. It looks like she just got like a kiss of highlighter only on her cheekbones, so that's what I'm gonna replicate as well. Maybe a little bit here, and using my fingers, I'm also gonna be applying it on the tip of my nose. So I'm gonna start by taking whatever concealer is left on my concealer brush and I'm just gonna be running it through my eyelid. The eyes are pretty much the star of this entire makeup look and I love the negative spacing that there is in the center of her eyes. First I'm gonna be using this Kajal pencil by Sugar. It's in the shade Black Magic. It has a little bit of sparkle in it. I wanted a Kajal pencil which is super creamy and that's why I'm using this one. So I'm gonna be applying this Kajal pencil on the outer one third of my waterline and also on my inner corners. Just make sure that you're leaving a space in center. Also going to be applying a very thin line on my eyelid. Now take your trusty pencil brush and start blending this liner out. Just make sure that you're not smudging this eyeliner all the way through. You still want it to be super concentrated and super close to your lash line. While smudging the eyeliner on your lower lash line, make sure to extend it outwards, sort of connecting with the liner that we have on our eyelids. Be very careful when you're smudging the eyeliner on your inner corner. It looks like you've got a highlighter on your inner corner, but it's just that it's black in color. Okay, now once that is done, grab your favorite black matte eyeshadow and I'm going to be taking it on the tip of my pencil brush, tapping off any excess and I'm just going to darken my lash line. Load up on that black eyeshadow on your inner corner right over here because it needs to be the darkest there. 
Once you're happy applying the black eyeshadow, take a flat brush with no additional product. Just blend out the edges of that eyeshadow. Okay, so we're going to keep the lid very simple because she does not have a lot going on. But it looks like she's defined her crease a little bit. So I'm taking a fluffy brush like this. And I'm going to be dipping into the bronzer that I used earlier. I'm going to be applying it slightly above where my crease is. So my crease is basically here. So it's going to be here. Eyes are pretty much done. I'm going to be taking a nude eyeliner. This one is by Rimmel. And I'm applying it on the area where I've left that space in the center. Okay, so now I'm going to quickly apply some mascara and false lashes. And I'm going to be back. Okay, the lashes are on. These are probably the most natural looking lashes that I own. And I feel like she's used like individual lashes, but I don't have any. So I use the ones that were available to me. Now for my lips, I'm going to be using this lip liner. I was actually confused between the two, the Forever 52 one and the Insight one. But I think I'm going to be using the Insight one, which is this one right here. If you see this one. Once I line my lips, I'm going to be using my finger and diffusing the line. For my lipstick, I was also again very confused. I have these two lipsticks right here. This one is Maybelline Seductress and this one is Physician's Formula Bear With Me. I feel like this one is a little too peachy for this look. I'm going to go with the Maybelline one. Using my fingers to blot the lipstick out. Okay, so there you go guys, that is the finished makeup look. I really hope that you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I wanted to give this makeup look justice and I hope I was able to do that. Remember, this is a makeup recreation. This tutorial is not supposed to make me look like her. So yeah, it's gonna look different on different eye shapes. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys like this tutorial. In case if you did, then don't forget to like this video. And also in case if you guys want me to recreate any other celebrities makeup look, then let me know in the comments down below. And with that, you guys, I'm gonna take a leave and I'm gonna see you guys in my next video. Bye Linda!